A medical center in Michigan has taken a big step into the future. Robots are now helping care for the patients, and whatever these robo-docs may lack in bedside manner, the patients can count on one thing the doctor is always in. CBS News medical correspondent Elizabeth Talladon has our report. If you roam the corridors of the Detroit Medical Center these days, you might see something a little unusual. Robots are making rounds. You've been coughing for a few days now? Yes. Okay. The Medical Center has deployed 10 of these metal medics, 5 foot 7, 220 pound bundles of technological innovation aimed at improving medicine. Hi, Steve. They don't operate alone, of course. Through the Internet, a doctor is always at the helm. How do you feel about um, talking to a robot instead of a doctor? Uh, I mean, I'm not talking to a doctor, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of it is really quite simple. It allows doctors to be several places at once. They can be in their office or even at home overlooking charts and x-rays and be at the patient's bedside at the same time. So if you crash into a wall... Any doctor with access to the computer technology can log on to the robot and go on rounds. Dr. Richard Santucci happens to be at home when he's needed in the emergency room. Beautiful. So they would page you at home. Sure. You'd stop cooking dinner. Yeah. And you come over and check in on a patient. Right, exactly right. Dr. Santucci maneuvers the robot through the hospital halls a half an hour away. He can even consult with other doctors before talking to patients. So both your lung fields are quite clear. Critics might say, oh great, another tool to make doctors even less hands-on. But patients actually seem to appreciate it. You think this is the wave of the future? Yeah. Yeah? Pretty good, the way yeah. we're going? It may be quicker and faster to get around to people. Improving efficiency is the main goal, but pediatric surgeon Dr. Michael Klein says the technology is also a way to have a specialist in Boston see a patient in Baton Rouge. And this is a way that we can actually bring expert care to, uh, to people's bedsides. I'll try to watch your toes. All agree there's a time and a place to use the robots. They are not meant to replace doctors, only help them. In fact, they have one major shortcoming. Pardon me, could I ask you to plug me in? Okay. They need power. Elizabeth Caledon, CBS News, Detroit. Excellent.